Hey everybody, I wanted to pop in and do a really quick video on the updated way that I'm going to be doing the plaid stitch for the plaid week this in October for this year. And um, it's basically the same, but I just, I really hated how that first one looked. If you use the chain, if you counted the chain as a stitch, then it just looked really um, just like empty, like it wasn't a full one. And then if you didn't count it and you used you know, the, you had the chain and then the double crochet and the same one, then it looked like there were four stitches and I just, I don't know, I didn't like it and I wasn't sure how to fix it. Well, I figured out a way to fix it. So what you do is you, your count is actually going to be multiples of three or, or of six because the six stitches that make up the plaid stitch and then you're going to add two to it. So the count is going to be a little bit different. Basically, if you're going to be working in the round, you just take the number that you would have had and minus one. And let me show you what I'm what I'm talking about. So the so instead of working, so you can see what I'm doing, and you can see that it looks perfect. It looks like there's three, 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 but this is actually the join. So what I'm doing is I'm chaining one. I'm gonna double crochet into the same stitch, and I'm gonna double crochet into the next stitch. So this first one, this first one only has. It actually only has two stitches because you're not counting the chain. So you're not counting it. You're still doing the chain one, double crochet in the same stitch. So you're only, you, you can only count two stitches on that, but it looks like there's three. So to adjust the overall count, uh, count for the row, all you're going to do is minus one because this first set, instead of three, it has two but it looks like there's three. So um, I don't know if you can tell what it looks like. That black is just terrible. You can't really see it. But you can see that it looks like there's three, and um, but there's only two. And so the chain makes it look like there's three. So for this week, um, for plaid week um, coming up in October, this is how I'm going to write the patterns. I'm going to um, begin the plaid stitch by chaining two, double crocheting the same stitch, double crocheting the next stitch, and then start the plaid stitch. And hopefully that will help um, alleviate any concerns about this. But I just think it looks so much nicer to have the two stitches there and then the chain, and then it just it looks really nice. 